These are the outdoor slings, the two liter and the seven liter. Both were designed by me. Your pal, Bev. <laughs> I haven't had a wink in a while. <laughs> Did I get that? <laughs> if you're watching, you either just got one, thanks for your support, or you're thinking about getting one. Bev says do it. Either way, I'm gonna tell you everything about them. I'll give an overview, talk about the materials, then go over the differences between the two sizes. After that, we'll talk about carry styles, access, storage, and bring it home with some good old-fashioned loadouts. If you wanna to skip to a certain part, check out the description below for timestamps. But why would you skip Bev? And that leaves me with just one last thing to say before I begin. Are you ready? Let's go. The outdoor slings are lightweight carry companions. They're equally suited for scrambling up a mountain, chilling at the beach, and commuting through town. They're really like two bags in one. Crossbody sling and stealthy hip packs. Like the rest of our outdoor bags, the primary fabric for our bag is our TerraShell 210D ripstop. The material is woven from 100% recycled nylon. It's lightweight, abrasion resistant, blue sign approved, and weatherproof, thanks to an internal PU coating and PFAS free moisture repellent treatment. The whole darn thing is PFAS free in case you're wondering. In our opinion, TerraShell is the perfect balance between lightweight, protective, and durable. Plus, it looks and feels splendid. The lightweight nylon hardware is totally custom, designed by Tyler on our engineering team. Wait, is that Tyler? Oh yeah, that's, that's him. Additional materials include a back panel made from breathable mesh and lightweight foam, and the zippers are proprietary number no. five ultra zips fastened with ultra high molecular weight polyethylene thread, making them way more durable and abrasion resistant. Like all our bags, the outdoor slings are fair trade certified, certifiably carbon neutral, and guaranteed for freaking life. The sling comes in 2 liter and 7 liter sizes. Aside from their size difference, there's a few functional differences between the two. The 7 liter fits our extra small camera cube, meaning you can convert it into a minimalist camera bag. Whereas the 2 liter isn't really designed to carry a camera beyond your phone or a point and shoot. The 2 liter is a bit simpler, a single main volume with three small stretch pockets inside for little things. The 7 liter has a little bit more going on. A main volume plus an additional front zipper pocket. And inside, you'll find eight of those stretch pockets. The 7 liter sling includes two elastic gear loops to cinch things onto it, and it comes with a stabilizer strap for activities like hiking or cycling. Both of these slings are low profile, with a sleek and minimalist aesthetic. So if you're choosing between the two, it just boils down to what you want to carry. Wallet, phone, keys, and a couple other doodads, the 2 liter is perfect. But if you need to carry all of that and a rotisserie chicken, you'll want to go for the 7 liter. Differentiation? Complete. Carry styles, begin. The seven liter and two liter can be carried in two modes, crossbody and waist carry, and you can easily switch between them. I'll demo those two modes on the two liter sling. For crossbody mode, you just sling over your left shoulder. Position it wherever you want, your back or your front. To lower it, grab the buckle and with your other hand, grab the strap, then pull on the buckle. To tighten, grab the buckle, then pull on the strap. There's also two additional points of adjustment via the cord hook cam locks. Open the cams to adjust the strap ends in and out. You can make the entire strap longer or shorter to suit a wider range of carry preferences and body types. Dangling straps? Not in Bev's house. The strap ends conveniently tuck away into the back panel. Wait a second. There's something back inside here. Pro tip. Want to wear the sling over your other shoulder? Easy peasy. Just unhook the cord hook cam locks and switch them to the other side. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's talk waist carry. This buckle here is another custom piece of hardware. Push it in and it pops open, allowing you to fit it around your waist and cinch it down as snug as you'd like. And once again, you can use the cord hook cam locks to further adjust the strap length or pad positioning. Let's talk stabilizer strap. The 7 liter comes with a stabilizer strap because of its size. You'll find it in the internal zipper pocket of the bag. I find it easier to set it up while the bag is on your shoulder. Your stabilizer strap has an adjustable end and a fixed end. Attach the fixed end of the cord loop onto the bottom of the bag. Just hook it over and give it a pull until you hear a satisfying pop. Then attach the adjustable side to the cord loop on your strap. Now you can just cinch it down to your desired comfort, and boom, you're ready to be extreme. What's that sound? What's that sound? 
Pro tip, lizards. You can also carry the outdoor slings on our outdoor backpacks. To do that, completely remove the strap, then grab your outdoor backpack. Grab two of the elastic gear loops that come with your outdoor backpack. The seven liter also comes with two gear loops. Attach the gear loops to your backpack straps like this. And attach your gear loops to the sling like this. Now you have an easy access chest pouch. This configuration has become a favorite amongst our design team for long hikes when you want access to certain things while you're on the move, such as Pocket Guide to Outdoor Survival with Stan Bradshaw. Bev likes the wild. The elastic gear loops even absorb a little bit of shock for enhanced comfort. Carry styles complete. Let's talk access. As mentioned, both slings have a weatherproof number no. five ultra zip. The two liter has a single zip, while the seven liter has an additional zip that gives access to a small front pocket. You'll notice that the seven liter has two zipper poles, and the two liter has one. The extra zipper pole gives you the flexibility of having the opening on one side of the bag versus the other. We decided to keep the two liter sling cleaner and simpler. There's another more discreet access point on these slings, the back panel slip pocket. It has endless uses, but the things we use it for the most is phone storage. It fits pretty much any size phone, even the big dogs like the iPhone Pro Max. Mm -hmm. Big dog! It's padded on the inside. It's magnetically sealed, giving quick access and automatic closure. And the opening is smaller than the pocket itself, preventing your phone from ever accidentally coming out. Access. You done, sucker. Uh -huh. Storage. I'm just going to go over some storage features we haven't already discussed. First up, interior pockets. As already mentioned, you'll find stretch mesh pockets inside both slings. The two liter has three. The seven liter has eight. Use them for little things, cards, batteries, s'mores, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Secondly, external storage. This is another feature that's unique to the seven liter. It comes with two elastic gear loops, which connect to these little cord loops located around the bag. The gear loops serve three main functions. First, external carry. Clip the gear loops on and then stick things under them. Those things might include a jacket, a Peak Design travel tripod, or a really neat stick that you find. Second, compression. When you're not carrying a full load, use the gear loops to give the bag a lower profile. Clip them onto these loops here and cinch down. Ah, so smooth, so low profile. This pleases both. Finally, attaching the sling to our outdoor backpacks. We already discussed this. We've also already covered the back panel phone pocket and strap storage. If you'd like to hear any of this again, just press the rewind button or remove the tape from the VCR and place it in your dedicated tape rewinder to save your VCR from unnecessary wear and tear. And storage. Whew, okay. Bev's gonna take it home now. Because it's time for some loadouts. Let's start with the two liter wilderness loadout. Let's pack it out. Two liter pack out complete. Let's switch gears to the two liter everyday loadout. All right, let's get to packing. Two liter everyday loadout complete. Let's move on. Here we have our seven liter wilderness loadout. All right, let's get to packing. Seven liter wilderness pack out complete. 
And for our final loadout, we have the seven liter photo loadout. All right, let's pack it out. There you have it, seven liter photo loadout complete. Wow, we did it. If you have any questions, hit up our uber knowledgeable support staff and check out a Peak Design store for a hands-on demo. As always, thank you for your support. And remember, for grizzly bears, you're supposed to play dead. For black bears, you act big and loud. And for panda bears, you pretend you can't talk because you're getting a call from your boss. Bev out.